Okay, what up ladies and gents? It is your favorite Asian robot here. Hopefully your favorite dark type partner as well. Um, I'm doing this video because I've actually had a lot of comments recently on my YouTube where people were actually asking me how toughness works in the game. Uh, honestly, I thought it was pretty obvious, but uh, if it's not, then rather than replying to every single comment and, you know, going doing the same thing over and over and showing examples, I figured I'd just make one quick video uh, where everybody can reference and just learn how toughness works in Dark Tide. Now, I'm going to do the math and show you uh, a mathematical model for how it works, but um, I'm also, before I before I go into the numbers, all right, uh, and keep in mind that these are not actually the formulas used by Dark Tide. This, this is just a way of me explaining it to you, okay? So so please don't use these numbers and, and expect uh, the game to go like that, okay? This is just a mathematical model. But before we go into this, let me show you proof of how it works. Um, Okay, so I, I went into the game with Randos, and I tried desperately not to fail the mission while also getting the footage that I needed. Let me show you guys a few things. Okay, first of all, um, sorry, let me pause this. This footage is uh, to showcase how range damage works, okay? When it comes to range damage, okay, range damage does not damage your hit points until your toughness is gone. Take a look at his, take a look at his footage, all right? I'm sorry, my boomer level video editing skills, uh, this is the best I can do, okay? So, right here, my toughness is going up, okay? Um, from, obviously, from killing some of these guys with range. Then, I rushed forward, and I saw one guy there, right? So, I purposely decided to take some damage. As you can see, I took several hits right there, but my hit points did not decrease, okay? Let's take a look at that again, okay? As I rush up, my, my hit points stay the same. My hit points stay at 130, okay? Before, beforehand, they're 130, even after taking the damage, all right, they're still at 130. Range damage does not penetrate toughne uh, toughness until it's all gone, all right? This is not true for melee damage. Let's take a look. Okay, this, this footage is a lot shorter, but I'm just going to show you. When I was in a, a melee conflict, no matter how high my toughness is, I'm taking, I'm taking some hit point damage, all right? The reason for this is called a bleed-through effect, all right? The bleed through effect is what causes that. And I'm going to explain it now with the numbers. So uh, let, let, let's get into the, the annoying part now. Okay, before the, the, before the launch, okay? So um, before launch, I should probably just write that up here. Um, again, sorry, boomer level video editing skills. So I'm just trying to do this the best I can. Uh, before launch, okay, how it worked is that range damage any ranged attack damage, let's say the, let's say just for as an example, the ranged attack is 30 damage points, right? Your maximum toughness is 100, your current toughness is 100, you take 30 damage, your current toughness is uh, 70, and your hit point damage is 0. Until such a time that your toughness uh, goes to 0. So for example, let's set my toughness at 20, alright? Your current toughness after taking 30 damage would be 0, the remaining damage would hit your hit points, okay? That's how toughness is supposed to work supposed to before launch with melee attacks before launch what happened is that no matter what my toughness is okay so let's say i've got maximum toughness of 100 current toughness of 100 okay the attack damage is 30 right 10 percent of the melee attack will bleed through okay so i'm gonna write that down 10 percent bleed through so what the bleed through means is that 10% of the of the attack no matter what damage it is okay my current toughness could be 80 for instance right and if the the toughness damage i would take from a, a attack 30 would still be 27 no matter what and three hit point damage three points of hit point damage would be dealt directly to my health this was before launch okay this was before launch now it's a little more complex which I think is what confused a lot of people. So before launch, okay, this is how it was. Now it's different. Now it's different. Range attacks still work the same way. Uh, as you saw in the footage, until you take, until your toughness hits zero, range attacks only damage your toughness. So let's ignore range attacks. We don't need to worry about that. Let's take a look at melee attacks. They're different now. So your maximum toughness, let's say it's 100. Your current toughness is 100 as well right? Okay, because you haven't taken any damage yet. Okay, follow, follow me through this calculation. Your damage reduction, all right, is going to be 100%. Why? Because your damage reduction is based on the percentage of toughness that your current toughness has. 
All right. So the percentage should be, all right. And we'll do it this way. Okay. Okay. Now, this is this will just show 100%, okay? The reason why I'm going to add this in, you'll see it later on. Okay. So if I were to take a melee attack of 30 and my current toughness is 100%, okay? 30 of the 30 of the tough uh 30 points of the attack damage will be dealt directly to toughness. All right? And zero will hit my hit points. Okay? You follow so far, yeah? So I get full damage reduction basically because my toughness is 100%. What happens? What happens if we change this number? If we change my toughness, let's say I'm at 80% toughness right now. Okay? So I'm at 80 toughness out of 100 total toughness. That's an 80%, right? That's 80% of the toughness. So my damage reduction is now 80%, okay? Let's say an attack does 30 damage, okay? 80% will be dealt to my toughness. So my toughness takes 24 damage, and my hit points take 6 damage, all right? So instead of the previous 3 hit points bleeding through, right? Now, 6 hit points bleed through, and 24 damage goes to my toughness. So my toughness goes from 80 to 56, and the hit point damage is 6. All right? What happens if my toughness, we now put it down to 56, and I take another attack? Now my toughness damage reduction is only 56%. This is where it gets really dangerous, and it's why I hate the current toughness system, because I think it's bullshit. All right? An attack damage, an attack is now 30. Right? Okay. Instead of, you know... The previous situation where 27 would have been dealt to toughness because I've still got plenty of toughness 27 would have been dealt to toughness and the remaining three would have hit my hit points no matter what right this system is worse now my toughness is only going to take 16.8 percent sorry 16.8 points of damage let's round it up to 17 and my hit points are going to take a full 13 damage that's how bad it is so now every mission is more dangerous and melee enemies are a huge threat and just as bad of a threat as ranged enemies. Ranged enemies previously had the advantage of being able to shoot you from all sorts of angles. And you'd have to find out where they are, find some cover, you know. Now it's even worse because melee enemies are just as much of a threat, if not more. Because if your toughness happens to drop below 50%, you're going to take a lot of hit point damage. FYI. So the toughness bug is fixed. But toughness itself is in a horrible state of affairs. Previously, toughness always acted as a shield, so even if you did not regenerate your toughness to full, alright, you were alright. Here's the big problem. Now, if your toughness is anything below 100%, you're gonna take a lot of bleed-through damage, alright? So, the current, I, I hate using the word meta, but the current meta of the game is to try and take as little toughness damage as possible or regenerate so much toughness that you're always in the upper percentage to prevent hit point bleed through. This is damn near impossible in the higher difficulties. So it creates a, a situation where you're kind of screwed unless you play nearly flawlessly. So you better get your dodging shoes on. All right. Um, and of course, I'm sure there are helpful videos out there on when to dodge, when to block. I want to make my own, but uh, until private hunts get in, I really don't want to sabotage somebody's game by going in there and trying to shoot footage while they're trying to, you know, do the mission. So you'll have to wait on that. But anyway, um, the last thing I want to talk about, because people have been asking this question, is it worth it stacking toughness curios? My only answer to that, my only genuine honest answer to that is that it depends, depends, <laughs> depends on whether or not you can survive more range attacks. The only reason to stack toughness curios now is to defend against range attacks. Let me let me do this, and I'm so sorry. I have to do the math just to show you. Um, let's say you're let's say you're not stacking any toughness, right? So your toughness increase per curio per C. That's what it means is zero percent. Uh, assuming every range attack is twenty damage, right? I have a toughness base toughness of hundred, right? So my total toughness is one hundred. I can survive five range attacks before it starts to damage my hit points. What if I increase toughness by fifteen percent per curio? I use uh, two curios, okay, so um, I'm getting a total of 30% increase to my toughness, just as an example. I now have 130 points of toughness, 
I can survive six and a half range hits before it starts. So basically, I can survive one extra range hit before it starts to damage my hit points. This is the only reason that Toughness Curios are worth it. It's mostly for defense against range attacks. And anything other than that, you have to think about whether or not it's worth it for you. Is it going to help against melee? Not anymore. Not anymore. The melee blade... The, the, the melee bleed through in the past was considered a problem, I guess, because let's say you're on very low hit points, but you're somehow maintaining your toughness. You know, you could survive. You could like, sorry, you would not survive just because somebody came and whacked you one time and you took the bleed through damage. You see, let's say you on two health and in, in sort of a critical situation. Now, uh, if you're on two health, but let's say your toughness is maintained at 100, you're like hardcore maintaining that toughness. Um, you're, you're most likely going to survive because it will never damage your hit points. You see? Because there's the bleed through is based on your damage reduction based on your current toughness level. If the person is lasting on two hit points, I don't think he's going to last anyway. So honestly, I don't know why they made this change. But yeah, that is, that, that is the reason why toughness can seem very odd with melee attacks right now. In case you guys didn't know this, this is how toughness works now. Uh, I hope my explanation helped. I'm so sorry that it was long. I was trying to make it as short as possible, but I hope that this guy, this helps you guys understand toughness and how it works now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, if you like my content, just help me get this video because this is a really boring video. I'm just going to aim for 100 likes uh, if you like it. Anyway, I, I don't expect anyone to watch this. So, uh, well, I expect a couple of people to watch this, but not anyone like to seriously watch it like they do some of my other videos. But thank you anyway if you decide to watch this. I hope this information helps you. And um, as always, you know, like, share, and subscribe. And before we go, let me just give my thanks to the channel members that make videos like this possible because they're the ones that, um, you know, uh, basically keep us running. And I really want to give them my thanks because, like I said, they're they're the ones that you know, do it for us. Um, let me give my thanks to the following individuals. Uh, starting right at the top, we have Death Donnie 982 at our at plus ultra level. He is our top fan. We've got Jerry Fast, Joshua Moritz, Rogue Assassin, Oh Mr. Cream Puff, Zach and FG. They're all prestige. Thank you guys so much. Uh, in terms of our honored robots, we've got Wild Hunt, Coda CMF, uh, Nuev, Kami SMH, Jammer Boy, Conrad C, Miss Eve, Grim Reaper 2296, Jacob Gabrick, Turtle Dove, Nate the Great, Curtis Shustler, MJ Riffle, Shadow, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, Anarchy Inc., Greasy Burker, and Stefan Geyer. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all of our cool bots as well. And again, sorry for the mathematical video. I just hope it helps. All right. See you on the next one.